so in our last video we created this recycler view so in this video i'm gonna show you how we can add one delete button here if you click on this button then this that row will be deleted so let's move back to the project so this list item xml file this xml file is used to render one item of this recycler view so i'm gonna add one delete button to the right of this title so here we have this title text view here then i'm gonna create one button here let me add this as 0 db 0 db for now so we need one image for this button as well so if i go here in this resource drivel and right click then new then you can also create image or vector assets so i'm gonna check this vector asset and from here you can choose from different types of uh, material uh, buttons but material images so i'm gonna use this delete click ok the size is 24 dp you can also choose from local files you can put svg or P photoshop psd files so the color let me change it to uh, 888 and then click on this next and click on finish so this is that file this is the vector file this is the vector code so we can use it in the background of our button from background i can use travel and i see baseline delete currently this width is 0 dp and height is 0 dp so if i go here this uh, constraint width percent so we can give constraint width percent and also we can give one ratio for the height and the width so i'm just gonna copy this and use it here let me add it as 0.2 also we have not added any constraint for this button so currently this text view the end of this text view is to the end of this parent okay so this constraint actually we need for this button the end of this button will be lined with the end of the parent also this top of this button we are lining with the top of the parent then the end of this text view should be lined with the start of this button the constraint end to start off start off if i add one id here so let me add one id button so that will be to the start of button okay i need to add id here id button so here you can see that this is placed to the left of this button we can also change the width of this button currently the percent is 0.2 if i add it as 0.1 and it becomes this this is fine i think so for this next text view the end of this the aligning to the end of the top text view but we need to align it with the parent yeah. so for this button let me add one margin top and margin bottom margin top let me add 5 dp and also margin right let me add 5 dp for this one So if you click all tender then also we need to add this margin right if we are adding margin end so if you rerun this program and you can see that we have this delete button here with all these cells 
if we change the height and width width percent of this button between width lower than 0.1 suppose it is 0.8 Oh, sorry, 0 .0 0 0.08. Then if I run it again, it's better. Yeah. The next part we need to add one click listener for this button. For that, we have to go here this adapter. So inside this adapter, we can access all these um, view layouts. So here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna Add get this button go to view dot find view by id this is of type button and this is button this id is button so we need to import it click alt enter it will import and we need to give one on click listener for this button so after this glide is loaded then i'm setting one on list listener so this part will be called if the button will be clicked so uh, we need to pass that information from this view holder to this activity so inside this activity we are creating this view holder sorry this adapter and inside this adapter we have this view holder so we need to pass that information to this activity and the activity will say delete that item from the list so my view holder class we can define it as inner class and also we can pass one lambda here suppose the name of this lambda is on click delete so we'll pass the id of this row so if you if i click on this then we'll pass the id of this row there is zero and one two like that so once the button will click then we'll uh, call this on click delete and we can pass the index or id so we don't have this index now so what we can do we can pass the index for the spine here so from where bind is called bind is called from this part so we can also pass this position position is that index of that element so we are passing this position here and if the button is clicked we are passing this uh, uh, this index or position uh, using this lambda this is on click delete so this lambda we need to define in this main activity now it is showing one error because we have defined this lambda here so here what i'm gonna do so currently what we are doing we're calling one api then what the, we get from that api we're directly sending it to this adapter so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna save this data that we get from this api we don't need this line so i'm gonna create one latent variable about its name is data and its subtype mutable list property so this is the this is a mutable list so we can edit this list item and we can add item to this list or we can delete item from this list and this property is what we have defined for our data structure that is the id title description and image so once we get the data from this api so here we can get the data and we can assign the data to this data variable so here i can give get the data as mutable list property and we can pass this data in this adapter now so we need to pass this lambda function here so this once the lambda function will call then we'll get the in index and we can call one method here that delete this item using this index 
we can create this uh, function this function is used to delete one item from using an index so we are going to delete it from this variable data this data is used for this adapter so what i'll do here so i'm going to see if this data is in this list because it is a latent variable if this api failed or for some reason that it will not get in this list and also i'll see this my adapter it is in this list or not if water is less that means that we already have data and we can remove data from this data variable so we can just remove it remove it is used to remove one item using an index from a mutable list and so we remove this data from this uh, this our local variable data but we need to inform our adapter that this data is item is removed then you are now update this data so we can call our adapter one new method set items we can pass the new data set items is currently not defined in the adapter so we can create one new function here set item so here we will get this item this is of type list of property and we can give the data equal to items so actually we also need to define one variable here variable list data so we can assign this value this data variable directly to this list data and wherever we are using this data so where we are using this data dot size we can use this list data so we can keep it here okay so once this set items is called we are updating the value of this data and also we need to call one more method it's called notify data set sense this method is used to inform this recycler view that the data set is since so now reload it so the recycler will be called again then the gate items count will be called then it will send since the uh, it will send the new list data size and also it will load this new data set so items okay we need to make it public that is set items and also here we need to change the type of this my adapter this is recycler view adapter so we can change the type to uh, our current adapter that is my adapter so we can just change it as my adapter so now it we can call this method for this adapter so what we did so once this button is clicked then we are calling this on click delete this will invoke this part and we are calling this delete item then we are removing that item from the data that we have currently in the database uh, in our local variable data and also we are setting this data inside this adapter so in this adapter we are sending uh, setting this item in our list item variable and also we are saying, calling this notify data sensed actually we can call the same thing inside this my adapter instead of calling the my activity then my activity calls this my adapter but if we have to call one api currently we are deleting the items from uh, not from the api from our local data variable but we need if we have to call on the api then we can make the api call from this activity part now if i click on any button then you can see that this item is deleted
so what i was saying that we can also uh, call this directly from this adapter delete item index so we can also create one function here that delete item index is of type integer then we can directly delete this item remove so we need to define this mutable list of property then we don't need this part so we don't need this part so from this list data we can remove at index and then we can call the notify data set sense directly inside this adapter so if i run it again now if i click on any button then also it will work because we are deleting this item from this adapter but if we have to call one api call then we need to get back to this main activity so that's all for today if you love this video please like and subscribe to my channel